Hey everybody, what's up? It's Mitch here from PwnedMarketing.com and I'm just doing a quick video to answer a question that I got in my email this morning from Alexander. Uh, he asked what we can do to optimize our images for SEO. Um, so I'm gonna, gonna go over that and it's pretty easy stuff. Uh, there's just a few things that you need to keep in mind when you are um, trying to optimize an image uh, for search engine for search engines uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the file name of your image is actually your keyword that you're trying to rank for so uh, I've decided for this post uh, that I'm going to um, try to optimize my website for optimize images for SEO so here's the screenshot I took that I'm going to insert into the post and so I'm just going to rename it optimize images for SEO just like that and uh, as you see I've got another one here uh, there's probably going to be a, a couple images that I'm going to insert into this post after I'm done the video but I just wanted to show you guys uh, just walk you through what I do to optimize my images on my WordPress blogs so now that I've done that, I'm going to go back to my post here, and I've started working on the post, and I'm going to put that image right here, so I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to upload my image, <coughs> excuse me, this might look a little bit funny because I'm using the Authority Pro WordPress theme, which has some options, so it looks a little bit funny sometimes but it's very similar to what your WordPress will look like. So now I'm going to choose my files and I'm going to find it here, optimize images for SEO. And the next thing that we want to do is when it loads here is we want to make sure that our title is optimize images for SEO and your alt text or your alt tag for the image uh, is very important so you want to make sure that this is also your keyword so I'm just gonna copy and paste that in there caption you don't have to worry about and the next important thing uh, for images when it comes to SEO is you want to make sure you fill in the description a lot of people leave this blank for some reason I'm not really sure why maybe they think that it's uh, useless but when Google comes to your site and they find your image they read the description and it helps them uh, decide what the image is and uh, ultimately what your post is about so it helps if you include a description which also includes your keyword so for this I'm going to say um, email from Alexander asking how to optimize images for SEO and that's my description that's perfect and the next thing you want to do is you do want to link your image either to the image itself which is the default here this is the URL to the image or to the post URL that you're posting it on and I kinda play with this back and forth I don't really know which is better I haven't done enough experimenting either one works so for now I'm just gonna leave it as the as linking to the image itself and I'm just gonna insert this into my post If it'll load, it's sure slow today. Okay, and there is my optimized image embedded in my post. And that is pretty much it when it comes to optimizing your images for SEO. So I hope that this video helped clear some things up um, and will help you improve your image SEO on your WordPress sites. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact me. I like answering your questions. I try to answer them quickly, and uh, sometimes I'll make a post and video 
uh, to post on the blog to help everybody else out. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.